In this video, we're going to have a look at how do we calculate the area of a triangle using Heron's formula when we only know the three sides of the triangle and no other information. So Heron's formula is used when we know the three sides. Here we know that we've got side A, we've got side B, and we've got side C. We don't have any angles, we don't know the height of the triangle, we only know the three sides. In this case, we can use Heron's formula to be able to calculate what is the area of that triangle. Now to use Heron's formula, there's two steps to be able to complete that calculation. So the first step is calculating our S value. And to calculate our S value, it is going to be A plus B plus C. Then we're going to divide that value by two. So remember, it's two, not three. You're not finding the average of the three sides. You're adding up the three sides and dividing them by two. So this S value then becomes important when we use Heron's rule to calculate the area. So after we've got our S value, what we can do is use Heron's rule to calculate the area. And that rule is that the area is going to equal to the square root of S multiplied by S minus A multiplied by S minus B multiplied by S minus C. So there are the two formulas that we need to be able to calculate the area of a triangle using Heron's formula. This formula is going to be on your formula sheet for general maths under the measurement section. So you don't need to remember it, you just need to know how to apply or more importantly, when to apply this formula. And we would apply this formula when we know three sides of the triangle to be able to calculate its area. So let's have a look at an example of, and we want to calculate the area of the triangle. And we've got three sides of the triangle and no other information. So I can use Heron's rule to be able to calculate the area. So my A value is going to be five, my B value is going to be six, my C value is going to be eight. They are the three sides of my triangle. It doesn't matter what order I label them in, as long as I use each side once to come up with my A value, my B value, and my C value. Now my first step is to calculate my S value. And that's gonna be A plus B plus C divided by two. So that would be five plus six plus eight, and then divide my answer by two. So using a calculator, that is going to work out to be 9.5. Just be really careful that you are using brackets when you are using your calculator. If you're doing it all in one entry, it would be five plus six plus eight in brackets divided by two will get you the answer of 9.5. Once I have got the S value, I can then use Heron's rule to calculate the area. So the first step is to write the formula. So it's gonna be the square root of S and then S minus A S minus B, and then S minus C. So substituting in my values, it's gonna be the square root of 9.5 multiplied by 9.5 minus five, multiplied by 9.5 minus six, multiplied by 9.5 minus eight. So then you can do that all in one go on your calculator if you would like, or you can work out what your subtractions are going to be. So if you did that, it would be the square root of 9.5 multiplied by 4.5 multiplied by 3.5 multiplied by 1.5, which works out to be 14.98 meters squared. So using Heron's rule, the area of a triangle with sides of five, six, and eight is going to equal to 14.98 meters square.